My name is Terence Trio. I'm the senior editor of Freeze Magazine. I was asked to pick some of my favorite artworks of the fair. These are artists working in an array of different mediums. They kind of came together loosely on the, around the theme of women artists of color, particularly of non-Western descent. Here we're looking at Takako Yamaguchi's work, Japanese artist based in uh, Los Angeles. A lot of her work is looking at a lot of different sort of influences, particularly thinking about Diego Rivera and his muralist projects, and, but also thinking about Japanese decorative painting. This painting, which is from her uh, Women Smoking series, is taking on a sort of 1920s style, you know, roaring 20s, female woman lounging on a couch. But here, I mean, I think overtly uh, Asian female, so thinking about Asian femininity, conflating, you know, the culture wars of the 1920s, taking that to the 1990s when the paintings were made. So this is a piece by Farah El Qasimi, based in Brooklyn, but originally from Dubai. This piece is called Six Different Screams. And so we're looking quite close at someone yelling, <laughs> um, and that quite literally guttural, in some ways thinking about the angst of contemporary life and image culture. So Sung Chu is a Vietnamese artist uh, based in Berlin, very much working in a highly conceptual form. So here we have Courtyard from 2022, which is really looking at the architecture of prisons. Each piece is filled with locally sourced dirt, kind of representing how the carceral system is pervasive across many cultures. Emma Prempe is a black British artist from Ghanaian and Caribbean descent, working in painting. In this work in particular, she used some projections and some uh, sound elements to really uh, accentuate the piece and bring it alive. The other aspect of her work which I found quite interesting when I spoke to her last night about is you could see that there's these sort of gilding happening, a gold leaf, which actually is a fake gold leaf. It's purposely made to oxidize, so will age and sort of change over time. So there's this element where the work is alive and thinking about memory as this sort of mutable thing. Thank you for joining me on this, on this tour of my favorite artworks at the fair. They're all very exciting artists, some older, some younger, but all artists I, I do feel that we'll be talking about for quite some time.